Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for another Brick Haul and it's another one from Bricklink.com. So this one was ordered Sunday night and was here by Tuesday. So super fast turnaround from them. Let's get into it. Well packaged, pack in there. Quite a few pieces. A lot of packing material in there. Could probably have got away with a smaller box. We've got tons and tons of little bags in there. So, the first thing I will say before I get into this is top tip for Bricklink ordering. Pay attention to the terms of the store. So, Ian ordered this quite late of an evening. And he didn't really look to see, once we'd finished adding stuff to the cart, what the terms and conditions were. And annoyingly, this person said that orders over £20 would have an extra £1.40 added and it would be sent signed for. Which is totally fair enough. I'm, I'm, I have no problems with that because once you get over a certain value, you kind of want that extra protection as a seller. Um, so, fine. And also as a buyer, to be fair. Um... But we were £20 and 46p and we could probably have ditched like one or two things from here to make it 20 and therefore saved us a whole £1.40. So do pay attention to that kind of stuff. Right, so Ian's added on a whole bunch of... There's, oh, there's one item in here that Ian wanted, but he's added on a whole bunch of um, green pieces. He's trying to do the park area at the moment, so I'm going to guess this is to help with that. And like the... The wedge plates is trying to do like the little river. So I think that will definitely help. He's got them in both directions. In fact, extra long ones as well. Even extra, extra long ones. <laughs> um, other side. Some one by twos. Some cheese slopes. It's all in this dark green um, slopes. He's then got a bunch of tan plates because he's also working on the underwater scene and trying to make that a bit more robust so we can sort of take it to shows and things because it is a good display. I like these wedge plates. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever sort of seen that shape before, but yeah, that's good. Uh, again, more. More tan, so loads of tan, different sizes, three by threes, four by sixes, or four by eights even, four by sixes, two by eights, four by twelves. These ones I always associate with um, castles, sand castles. I don't know why when they're in that colour, I just think they're sand castles. A couple of slopes, four by four. More slopes, a pin, and some bricks with holes. So we also have white jumpers. I'm not entirely sure why we've got white jumpers. I think that might be one of my builds. Um, yeah, I think I added on a few pieces, so probably the dark red is for the post office. And I think that might be a bob minion hinge piece and yeah something else that I'm doing a whole bunch of what looked like crab claws I'm gonna guess that was Ian for under the sea because I'm pretty sure I didn't order that I've got a whole bag of these I feel like I only added one of these um, so that's interesting and I've got these pieces so this seller had pretty much all of the parts that you would need to create Rainbow Kissy, which is one of the collectible Unikitty um, CMF. And it's the only one that I'm missing. And so I, I just figured Ian needed to place an order with this person because of this one item, which I'll get to. Um, so I would take advantage. So there's some more pieces to go with that. And I think one of these, and there's the the tail is missing a few other pieces but I can pick those up pretty easily from somewhere else so it was good to see all of the interesting parts so these are all the printed pieces together and 
it was about the same as if I'd found a seller who was selling it complete um, and it just saved me having to pay the, the postage for them when we were already paying the postage for this one. So I picked up a couple of heads, kind of a stubbly, funky grin and then quite like that one. Oop. Over large fingernail there, sorry. And this one looked like a good one to sort of use somewhere, um, maybe in the fairground where they're scared. Oh, I've just lost a head on the floor. And I really love the teeth on this one. Look at those. Very cute. So this is the actual piece that Ian was after. And I'd like to tell you I know what it is, but um, I, I don't. It's called an, actu uh, an actuator, I think he said it was called. Um, I was like, what's an actuator? And he said, it's a thing that does stuff. <laughs> now... It looks like there's something here that you push, but I've no idea. I don't want to break it, given that I don't know what it is. Um, but I'm sure he knows how to use it. The intention with this is to try and motorise 12 Grimmel Place, which is kind of a crazy thing to want to do, but that's the kind of stuff we like doing in this um, in our city. We like to make things a bit more interactive. So... I will let Ian work out how to use this because I have absolutely no clue. It definitely does something, but I think you have to know what you're doing to make it work. Ian will probably be watching this back thinking, you're so special, Carrie. But I mean, this is the stuff that he enjoys and that I enjoy watching him do. So that's definitely just for him. And I'm excited to see how that turns out. So it's a very bag heavy order this time and all of these bags are like proper shiny as if they've only just been used, so not reused. So a little bit plastic heavy, but I love the fact that my stuff is kept nicely, but I also feel a bit bad for the planet. So I'm in two minds and it's kind of frustrating to know how I feel, but at least it was all well packaged and it's all there. So Ian can start working on this or he might already have worked it out depending on when you get to see this so um yeah this is the key part and then the uni kitty some might disagree but that for me was the bonus so i love i love collecting things and completing a series and that's that's me pretty much done on that one so yay so let me know what you thought of this and do you actually know what an actuator is and how you even activate it i don't know let me know in the comments below also, if you like brick hauls, I'll link up our brick haul playlist now. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.